Hello. Hi, hello, and welcome to JC. Today we are going to see another episode of uh, SFS uh, Smart Fox integration with Unity. In the last video, I have mentioned how to integrate with Smart Fox server with Unity, and also we have downloaded from the um, Smart Fox website and installed. Even we made a small uh, script to connect with the smart fox and successfully we have connected in the last video. In this video we are going to see and next we will create a basic login procedure with automatically join to some uh, in the lobby so we can uh, we will make some uh, more additional functions and method in the SFS and keep watching this series and we will uh, get some uh, we will see more uh, examples and how to make a proper uh, API to, uh, to get some information from the server let's um, so if we have uh, already installed the NetBeans software please uh, install it because this is a free uh, IDE software there are a lot of softwares available for IDE, IDE. Um, you can go to the web chrome browser and uh, simply download it from the apache websites just type the netbeans <laughs> and you will get the uh, latest version uh, currently it is 12.13 uh, is a beta version and uh, stable version 12.13 uh, 3 was released okay so I am using the version uh, it's 12 point 12 version so you can download it uh, from here in, in this website is the latest version or else uh, you can download some IntelliJ if you have a software with that so you can so and the um, NetBeans we will create a new project in the new project we will create and here you can see the lot of uh, options and uh, available here java with marvin and uh, java with gradle and java with ant and uh, html and php and sample so what we are going to do so we are going to create a java application uh, maybe uh, i go with java and create the pom project so, so once i selected the pom project and, and i click the next so here you have to put your project name just I'm making SFS tutorial yeah. and uh, second you can choose the location where you would like to store your um, mm, I'm just browsing it because I'm changing the location even if you want to change your location you can uh, go add and uh, smart fox developing project so i'm just making here i'm saving and uh, here you have group edicom.jc games and whatever and uh, here you can see the version and the uh, package name com.jc games to dot as of us tutorial so these are the set details uh, automatically uh, filled by the NetBeans so you can ju you can just modify you can mo if you want to modify you can modify it not an issue then this time finishing the okay so here we have our uh, some uh, files as created in the name of SFS tutorial which we are uh, mentioned in the last uh, option so we here you can see the models and dependency and the project XML form file so why I um, okay so once we created this we, we, we have to create add some uh, models for the create new model you won't go if you have a because uh, currently we don't have any existing model for that so I'm creating a new model so in the new model you can uh, come down there is no existing form and uh, run, even though the same um, options are showing here java application gradle and html okay but what is we need for that 
is a Java application, I think. Once created and the next. And what is the model name? This is SFS Tutorial Extension. Okay. And even it will be in the same folder. So once we create it, finish it. And it will take a low little time and okay so now the model has been uh, we have created successfully so in the source section so you can see there is a one a folder has been created the com.jcg for extension and uh, some dependencies and uh, java jdk and also some uh, poem xml so these are the basic details so you we can see and what we are going to do now so we are creating some uh, uh, one uh, extension so we will create uh, what is java class so in the java class extension we are going to create so this is how we are going to handle this script so this is uh, we are mentioning it zone config okay just zone config extension so make it the name extension if you making an extension just make it as a extension if you're making some request channel scripts and then make it request handle you will see the further uh, how could we can do okay so now we have opened uh, created one script the public class zone config extension so what we are going to do here um, uh, uh, let it be uh, skip sign and uh, before we proceed we will create one more script in the java class and this is called um, even handler script uh, which is uh, login event handler okay this is even handler uh, for login okay so we have made two script over here for the login um, and thing zone configuration and uh, event handler okay so event handler so it will it is going to handle the uh, event of whenever we uh, send an api request to the smart fox server so it will automatically handle the what are the details we are in because uh, while we creating the zone i think the last video so we have mentioned that we are going to use customs login so it's the same customs login script we are use going to use here so how we will handle a event from the server side okay so to continue with this script we need some uh, um, changes in this script in the heading. so we are going to use uh, it's a login even and and base uh, so we must uh, tell the sfs that this is an extent of base server side handle because this is server side uh, we are going to handle the server side um, so yeah server side the server uh, event and okay so we uh, given okay so we have mentioned that uh, this is extents of base server event handler so unity in the unity we have mentioned here in the last script so this is the add listener we have done the server's event connection the same method we have created this whole script as a the server event handler so for that we need to create one more uh, public in a java netbin side you don't get some uh, like a uh, guide so if you are in the unity we placed public so we will get some uh, related words so but uh, in this uh, in java we are not getting so just we have to type all the uh, letter by manually only so okay so in the public and uh, handle and uh, uh, server side 
server extension SFS sorry um, SFS exception okay and I hope okay yeah so still uh, in the method we have done but still it, it is once we click has a same package now the source package good SFS even search for the different different okay so what is happening here so we are not uh, imported the uh, SFS even uh, sorry SFS um, what SFS um, dependency so just um, let let it check whether the there's a dependency added or not and it is automatically check for checking in my library because I already ma uh, manually added the dependency in the um, netbin. So if you're getting uh, any um, error like this and if your um, dependency is not able to find, say I have a it may, because I selected the mount project that's the reason. So the dependency will be automatically get. So if you're not getting any dependency, then you have to do something uh like which i will show you in the windows or uh, somewhere else we can mm. yeah in the tool section uh in the library okay tools underscore library so here the all the dependency and the hall so this is what i manually uh insert so, so if you want uh can you add jar files on that so just uh uh, what we will do is uh, make some new library click it and uh, give it to the name and select that name library so and add job folder or files so once you click this uh, it will ask you where you get where you want to get so smartfox jar files you will, can get it from uh, the installation install the location so you can go uh, see user and uh, your profile name and here you can find the smartfox server uh, underscore to x so under this folder you can go uh, in the sfs 2x and here you can find the lib folder once you get in the lib folder here all jar files has been uh, already is that so you have to select uh, the sfs 2x job file yeah, this file and one more file have been selected which one is uh, okay so uh, let me see okay so sfs jar file and sfs 2x uh, dash core uh, this uh, two file just added and give it okay and you will get all the dependency regarding so currently i am searched for the dependency and i got uh, what are the missing jar files so it automatically installs the dependency so once we add the imports so and again some so create java missing java file uh, ok mm, and once we will import this ok and what else yeah so okay so in the uh, just deleting the one and automatically one uh, created from here okay so we will use this one and sfs e when we will use this simply as a e okay so this is what we different and I hope and once you install your dependency so here here you can see the dependency folder and the smartfox server and you can get all the script regarding for the smartfox server so once you completed this section uh, without any error so if you're finding any difficulty please post in the comment section so I can reply as up okay so basically we created the login handle event handler extension and public voice handle extension so for what for login what are the details we require uh, username password 
and uh, if you have a different kind of room so which room you would like to join so these are the basic details okay so first we need a username so username uh, it's um, yeah. string so make it as a string username and uh, be careful because in the java side so if you're making the string so you have to make capital s but in the unity you can make a small as that doesn't mind equal to mm, and open and close bracket so we need to first to declare what kind of detail we are going to get so we are going to get string detail from uh, from where you are we are getting e in the event or the isfs event from the event dot parameters so there are a lot of parameter in um, in this e if you put dots you can get a lot of so we are going to use this get parameter so in this uh, parameter what we are going to take so sfs event sfs event uh, think uh, run and dot so so you are here you can find all the uh, details is these are the by default details we can get from the uh, for the login so we need a login name and uh, even a password so there's no password if mentioned here but still uh, no no there will be some password or some okay first of all we need a login name where is the login yeah login password is here sorry you can login name so this detail we need and uh, finally semicolon okay so we got the username what we receive <laughs> and the string password so in the password um, what we would like to do in form we are not going to store any password like previously in the SQL uh, base currently so we are just checking with the uh, username what we can able to log in or uh, connecting the zone so what we'll do we will do in the password section in the later videos first we we'll just making it a simple login procedure script okay um, as I mentioned that is we are going to just send a username from the uh, unity so we have some basic uh, um, it takes for login because currently we are going to check the username only and there are two or uh, we'll can uh, make one condition so if like a uh, username dot um, substring and uh, no, yes yeah, substring uh, username dot length yeah so if username dot length um, so I make this script like in from the um, okay so equal to zero so in case uh, we don't need uh, any um, blank username so we are just checking with is the user name as a blank and um, instead of making zero we will do one thing we will make it as smaller than four so at least we need uh, four or five characters for the username so we will make it this and if these parameters uh, successfully passed or not let me check so once if username dot length smaller than 4 ok and still it has me some great mother sorry um, still it say and the username dot length expect uh, what Okay, so I think single problem, so and smaller than four. Okay, and uh, I think we are using this more mistake for high. Okay, so currently we have a checking one condition if the username below three, uh, four characters, so we can able to 
we can't log in so what we have to do we have to send uh, throw some sfs exception some uh, throat sorry throw new um, sfs log log in exception so we were throwing an exception in case if the username uh, length below three characters and we have to make a note for that so what error we are throwing so the username less than three uh, letter okay let it be and this okay and also we have to input some uh, error exception okay so now we are throwing an exception to the unity that the user name less than four so else leave it the blanks okay so what we will do just create some um, okay so in the uh, and one more uh, zone configuration script is that and in the last script we are mentioned that extend base server extension but in this uh, zone construction uh, zone extension so we are making this is extends extend and this is not a uh, server not a server or client request and this is an um, this is an extension so extension so sfs extension uh, extension okay and also it will get some need to import some sfs files okay and one more implement all of so yeah okay so all the sfs file extension file you are requesting uh, extension file make most problem in the extension so we have to make one unit uh, function like in a <coughs> yes, c sharp script that is an start script and update script automatically come but here we have some uh, in init and that will be override so override init script so inside this we can make some uh, logics and uh, we are going to check okay this is a zone extension so this script will be attached to the zone so in this zone whenever we start the server uh, in a sort of smart box server this uh, extension file will run fast so what we are going to do now here we are adding uh, some listener like what we added in the unity CSFS had listener the same type of uh, listener we are going to add over here so we are going to add event handler so add event handler and uh, in the event handler what are the uh, event we will we can able to add like uh, our login event and the user disconnect event and also uh, some other event let me check with the sfs event not uh, ty okay so now we can able to see all the event what are the events are available here in this uh, even types we will use in future video but currently we are looking for the login uh, login line, line game player private message zone no is join zone mm, we need this one also because uh, okay so first of all we have to join the zone next only we can able to log in uh, what other room we need at the same time uh, in the unity we are adding the uh, listener with the functions but uh, in sfs we are going to add it in a uh, through from the class so what we going to do uh, is a join zone so we will make one more script a zone join uh, handler dot uh, 
class okay and we have not made any script for that we will do it and second the same type we are going to add uh, another event type so what are the event types so this one will be user login so type dot user underscore login so in this script so also we have already made one login event and the script so what we are going to do we are just copy this name and paste over here and also once we successfully added the event handler because we have and uh, zone join handler we didn't so what we will do we will create one more class java class and uh, same name we have to mention for here zone join handler okay um, and enter and now we have a zone join handler so in the zone join handler what we are going to do same as what we had uh, for this zone config uh, okay here just I'm just copying this all and pasting here close it that's it so this is what we added and in the zone configuration so we need to import that script so zone join handler zone join okay some okay so now we have added this uh, event type so whenever this event happens the unity will response sorry the sfs server will response for that okay now we will move into the uh, unity page so in the unity page what is we are going to do uh, we will once we successfully log in here we are uh, printing that we are successfully connected so once we connect uh, we will send some uh, login request to the server so what are the login request and how we will do as i already mentioned that we are making some customs login detail so what we will do i am just uh, duplicating this and in the connection loss instead of that i am going to do uh, login yes login and unsend send uh, login request okay so no on log on this is not sending request on log in okay so the same method like as a base this base event we are going to create so if you are successfully logged in so we will get a login message and uh, if we are not successfully logged dot login error so any error so it is on login failed okay so even the base uh, same base even we are adding and in the okay and in the uh, finally we are done and uh, so we will just mention some print like log n and login failed so this both script so okay so we have had at this uh, one two three four line and what next step is we will like to send a response to the uh, login response so sending the login custom login request we will make one method so where we create we will create up here uh click void send login request okay so now what are the details we need uh, to send login so we need a username only and zone port and whatever the things are it so to send it 
to send a login request is very easy just uh, sfs dot um, send yeah send open and close bracket uh, sorry so we are going to send a new request so new sfs 2x dot so request we are going to send and what type of is uh, request it's a login request okay so in the login request so what are the details we need first of all we need here username password zone name and uh, that's it so we will do one thing we will send a username uh, as a as we don't mention here so what we'll do we will make a public string your name so username and we mention username and for the username we are sending here your name and comma and for password uh, nothing and just like as a just a blank and comma a zone name zone name already we have mentioned here zone so just it okay and that's it i think so these are the details we like to set in the unit section we'll do let's check this uh method and functions will work properly or not and what we will do we will make one uh, button to send a login request because uh, then only we can check okay and uh, save and just right click and create one uh, ui button okay and just add our SFS connection script where send a login a login 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 request here yeah. so now we connect it and, and before we need we need to right click and uh, build so i'm building and deploying a jar file because the last uh, video I have showed some basic settings for the zone and the room configuration so these are the files we have we are going to insert into the zone so everything let let it be complete okay now it's complete so project in the project i am sure in the jc games here we are developing a surface project and surface tutorial and here inside the target we are getting we have a surface tutorial extension so we are copying it and under this c section we have a user and jc games mm, and smart fox server and here you can find some extension and in the extension we are going to create one folder like a surface tutorial and pasting our extension over here and also we will like to access our admin panel okay. to configure admin tool and we will start the SMS service because I already turned it off before Yeah, it's starting the survey and SFS admin. Okay, now with okay, it's not connecting. Okay, SFS admin. Yeah, it's connected. And make sure that is a default password. So if you are using in the live sections, and uh, don't forget to change your password. And in the zone creation, that is an already we have created zones in the last video so what i'm going to do just i'm editing double click it so you will get into the edit section edit more so we have made it all in the zone extension what we are going to do uh, yeah here here it should become the 
folder mention name because only one folder is showing because the pay test and there is a lot of script over here but uh, now folder it's not it is not visible in here the reason it might be uh, back it okay some uh, maybe um, extension there might be a reason for the name I think extension let's check once again with that reload uh, still it's not coming and I'll get wait a minute uh, still mistakes on uh, extension okay I'm very really sorry um, I made a mistake away instead of yes we mentioned tips so we make it as yes. so you should keep your name as a extension so then only it will be get visible here otherwise not so just reload it once again and huh? Java it's not visible reload reload it then maybe that's comes again from the beginning okay and uh, reload doesn't working so i closed and reopen okay so first story so inside that we have an uh, javascript and here we have uh, some uh, three script we can see what other script we have made and we can able to see all the script like zone config extension zone join and then zone log engine so we are making zone config extension for the extension and submit it and cancel it that's it and what we will do we will uh, once again restart this some uh, smart fox service okay so now the server has been restarted successfully and uh, in unity we have made script and changes as well let's check it out our function is working properly or not so once we Uh, applications loading okay okay so now we are connected successfully and I'm sending the login request but we didn't receive anything even okay login failed um, yeah the reason might be the username and one more things I have explained to you regarding the uh log file so in the logs we will can able to see smart fox okay so in the last we can able see the uh, error so see the smart fox ssl login exception so here we can see able to see the username less than three letters okay so the same what we have written here the uh, uh, login login event yeah yeah here you can see the username less than three letters okay so the same uh, login fail and the reason we have found here we will get let's check with our username with putting John as my name and if I uh, click button okay logged in so we have logged in and also let me check with SFS admin They are pretty good so one user has logged in the zone but not in the lobby I am in the zone only okay so keep in mind that we didn't log in uh, in the lobby we are just logged in in the zone so if you want to move your user to the uh, zone that is uh, you need one more additional function for in the um, script so keep in mind so if anything goes wrong so just open this log file log files and see where it could be an uh, error and what is the problem so you can find all the errors over here in the next video we will see how to join a room by sending the client request uh, till the time you can practice with this uh, section and understand what is uh, sfs smart fox service and how we are going to use 
login so we made a script for the login and also connecting the sfs so next video we will see the login sfs and uh, and I will think about any one uh, project in the multiplayer section so maybe 2d or 3d game so we will uh, complete that project in this series and keep watching my videos and if you like this video then please uh, subscribe my channel and like and share the videos with your friends thank you friends and have a nice day